Millions of people got vaccinated in the Ferris Street Historic District today. 12 News' Kayla Thompson spoke to people about why they say they weren't missing their shot to beat COVID-19. Dozens of people lined the halls of the Central United Methodist Family Life Center, and although it may have been for different reasons, safety was everyone's top priority. Just wanted to be safe around my students. Around a lot of older people with my grandparents and aunts, uncles, I just wanted to be safe. Several churches on Ferris Street and the Central Mississippi mm -hmm. Health Services partnered together to make this event happen. Pastors say it's important to make sure the entire community has the opportunity to be healthy. These churches are within walking distance to many people. Every, every day, someone knocks on our door to say, hey, can you help me? And creating this walk-in vaccination site was just a way to make sure everyone, including the homeless population, got a shot. We have enough of everything to go around if we approach it in the proper way that no one should be without in a country like this. No one should be in poverty or no one should be without medical uh, treatment. People are glad to see something so necessary in their neighborhood. It's very, very necessary uh, that we will all come together, okay, uh, with the graces of the Almighty. People say this shot gives them hope that things could soon return to normal. I would definitely say get vaccinated so we can have things back as normal as possible as it could be. I know people have lost many family members. I don't want anyone else to lose anyone they care about. And organizers say this won't be the last chance you have to beat COVID-19. We hope that this will be one of many events, particularly here with an experienced group that, that knows how to reach out into the community, create community interest, and get people in. We want to get shots and arms. That's and those who got their shots today say they are feeling good. In Jackson, Kayla Thompson, 12 News.